All right, it is Thursday, time to ask Ellen. And Christina wants to know, can you tell us about the mass bird migration going on? This is so cool, Michelle. So if we look, thanks to Cornell Lab of Ornithology, at how many birds are migrating, we have a huge hot spot that's ongoing, especially in the northern plains, and especially on the east side of the country. That's indicated by these bright white spots. So you might say, okay, well, how many birds is that? Well, according to counts, using radar imagery, radar data that actually counts how many birds are in the air, last night an estimated 447 million birds migrated nationwide. Tonight, it's just as warm in many locations. So tonight, there's an estimated 446 million birds that are expected to migrate. And even Friday night, we're expecting about 369 million birds nationwide. So you might say, okay, well, that's cool nationwide. Well, what about Michigan? Michigan is absolutely included in this. In fact, we're experiencing the biggest migration spike that we've seen so far this season. If we use radar imagery, again, thanks to Cornell, we've counted about three million birds that migrated through Kent County alone last night. And again, with conditions continuing on the mild side, we expect another three million more. Usually songbirds begin migration flights at about 500 to 2,500 feet. Waterfowl can migrate as high as 4,000 feet, but that is detectable by our radar imagery. How to help. This is key. If you have lights that don't need to be on outside, make sure to dim them or turn them off. Sometimes lights disorient and confuse birds, and this can cause bird deaths, unfortunately. Buildings cause 340 million bird deaths a year. Homes cause five, 253 million bird deaths each year. So if we can help out our bird friends, just turn out the lights tonight, and you could see a whole bunch of new birds at your feeder by the time we get to this weekend. Three million in Kent County. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Yeah. So cool. All right, great. Thanks, Ellen. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask Ellen, you can send it to the7atwoodtv.com.